day in, day out, we receive reports of accidents. People die, people get injured. And um, these people who are casualties in accidents are our relatives. They are our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, and um, uh, uh, other relations. And um, the National Road Safety Committee, the Ghana Police Service, and all the other agencies involved in road safety have been campaigning to have a reduction in accidents on our roads. All of us are stakeholders, including the drivers' unions. And um, we all know that during festivities like Christmas and Easter, the spate of uh, lorry accidents uh, go, goes up. And so all of us must become ambassadors to try and advocate so that we are able to reduce the rate of accidents. The paradox about it is that some of the worst accidents take place on some of our best roads. That is because of overspeeding, sometimes wrongful overtaking, or sometimes tie best, or some mechanical problem with the vehicles. And so it is important for all of us to become ambassadors of road safety. And so I thought about it. I said, look, it's, uh, Easter is coming up. A lot of people are going to travel. Some will be my relatives, some will be your relatives. If we don't advocate and help our drivers and all those who are involved in terms of transporting us safely to one destination to and the other, if we don't help and advocate so that they are conscious that this season they must uh, uh, exercise utmost caution in order that we reduce uh, accidents, then we'll be reneging on our responsibility. So today I just came here with a message that this Easter, let's try and make it an accident-free Easter or at least make accidents as minimal as possible. So today that is the main message that we brought and of course to pay our respects to you. Um, we've gone round uh, several places in Central Region and others. We've met with drivers and they've all explained the difficulties that they are, they are facing with regards not only to the petrol price but the cost of insurance, uh, the cost of roadworthy and other uh, uh, spare parts and so on and so forth. So it's something that we've taken note of and when we draw up our manifesto we'll have a message you know for the drivers, the driving public and the uh, uh, transport sector.